what is good ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> it is your boy chad bringing y'all another video man now i was just chilling in my bed just trying to have a good night and of course the mainstream media liberals whatever they want to call themselves the if you don't agree with us we have to get rid of you have given me something else to talk about man and today we're going to be talking about the joe rogan controversy now as you all know joe rogan was having well he wasn't even beefing with anybody joe rogan in all honesty joe rogan is the type of dude who is interested in a variety amount of topics He'll talk with anybody who specializes in those fields, whether they lean one way or they lean another. Because everything is so political nowadays, anybody that Joe Rogan has on that does not speak exactly with the mainstream narrative of this and that, you know, I'm just putting air quotes because you can just fill out in the blank with anything, then the people say it's misinformation or he's spreading dangerous ideologies and this and that. But if he does go along with the status quo, everything's good. It doesn't matter. Everything's good. So Neil Young, um, I don't know who that is. Maybe he's before my time. He has come forth to Spotify saying, Spotify, if you don't remove Joe Rogan from the platform, I'll pull my music off the platform because Joe is spreading vaccine misinformation and coronavirus falsehoods. Um, because he just said that now first off to me it's like okay he gives spotify an ultimatum either he takes his music off spotify or take joe rogan off now this is like the second or third time they tried to cancel joe rogan for his podcast and what he speaks about now one thing about a podcast like i just said in the beginning a podcast is for you to come to share talk about different ideologies ideas whether you're on this side or that side see in the middle what's going on or just hear what people have to say whether they're professionals or if in some circumstances people's opinions so neil young is doing this this is the ultimatum i'll take my stuff elsewhere and it's like I don't know who Neil Young is. I don't think anyone in my generation knows where Neil Young is. And Neil Young did actually pull all his music off Spotify because Spotify stood with Joe Rogan. Now, Joe Rogan also came out with basically an apology video um, talking about, you know, this whole controversy because he wasn't saying anything at first. And then now he's like, clearly, you know, it's actually kind of gone too far if Joe does have to you know, come out and um, speak about it. So we'll go ahead and roll that clip and then we'll talk about it. I think there's a lot of people that have a distorted perception of what I do, maybe based on sound bites or based on headlines of articles that are disparaging. Um, the podcast has been accused of spreading dangerous misinformation, specifically about two episodes, a little bit about some other ones, but specifically about two, one with uh, Dr. Peter McCullough and one with Dr. Robert Malone. Dr. Peter McCullough is a cardiologist and he is the most published physician in his field in history. Dr. Robert Malone owns nine patents on the creation of mRNA vaccine technology and is at least partially responsible for the creation of the technology that led to mRNA vaccines. Both these people are very highly credentialed, very intelligent, very accomplished people, and they have an opinion that's different from the mainstream narrative. I wanted to hear what their opinion is. I had them on, and because of that, those episodes in particular, uh, they, those episodes were labeled as being dangerous. They had dangerous misinformation in them. The problem I have with the term misinformation, especially today, is that many of the things that we thought of as misinformation just a short while ago are now accepted as fact. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, Joe hits the nail right on the head. What I've been speaking about for months and other YouTubers, if you're inside this kind of, not, I wouldn't call us political, but we're just talking about stuff that happens in the country and outside the country that affects everybody, whether they care about it or not. So Joe is like, you know, I'm not spreading misinformation. The person I had on for these, what they're calling COVID misinformation or vaccine falsehoods, um, don't really have the same perspective as what mainstream media is pushing. So Joe has people on who 
do go with mainstream perspectives and then other people who don't go with mainstream perspectives. Because like I said, Joe gets a mixture of everybody. I don't personally think that Joe says, because Joe to me stands, seems like he's a liberal who the red pill is definitely working his way through his system and he's almost about to come out the other end red pill, especially because of what's happening to him with this Spotify stuff and you know how Hollywood and mainstream are turning on him. He sees that like, my time is up being on their side. I, I see it, it's on the horizon. He's probably this far away from like, just being like, all right, I'm done with it all. Y'all are, y'all step too far. So he said, you know, I don't believe I had misinformation. The people I had on, they're actual professional medical experts. They've had lots of published, you know, work. And the only reason that people are saying this because I don't go along with the meet with the, you know, narrative, which I definitely do understand where he's coming from. And then he says, you know, what is this misinformation they're saying? Because just a little bit ago, everything that they were saying was misinformation or conspiracy is actually true. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, that's the issue I've been having with my channel. I've received strike after strike after strike. Um, three or four, really three times I've been given a strike. And each time they said it was due to medical misinformation. And anytime I've provided the information either directly from the individual's mouths who's given the policies or the rules we should follow or anything that their site or like the CDC and different places like World Health and stuff are showing, I'm being given a strike for misinformation. And I'm like, how is this misinformation? Like, this is what they are saying. And then later on maybe a month later what i said that they gave me a strike over for misinformation is now the truth so it's like what is misinformation neil young he comes out saying all this about you know joe rogan but what is misinformation what part of what joe had on his podcast from someone who just had a different perspective also a health expert or a medical expert what part of his stuff is misinformation what part because what they're really telling me is it doesn't matter if you have a health expert in that field, um, a medical expert, you have someone who specializes in exactly that area. If they're not someone who goes along with the status quo of what we want you to say or do or what mainstream media has, then automatically it's misinformation. If it doesn't come from us, it's misinformation. And so I, I kind of feel bad for Joe in the fact that He's now having to come out here with a 10 minute apology videos on Instagram to say this stuff and defend himself. One thing about Joe, if you've ever seen his podcast, there's not a single time I watch the podcast and be like, yup, mm hmm, truth. I mean, yeah, that does happen, but I don't take everything as just, yup, that's absolute truth. I just hear it. I just look at Joe's podcast like, Joe is a curious dude who wants to know different things about everything in life. He has different people on who have a specialty in that field. And when he has them on, he asks them questions, get their insight, picks their brain, different things like that. Whether comedians, medical experts, journalists, he even has CNN on asking him why they keep smearing his name over stuff that's true. And they keep saying it's false and they, uh, it, 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 they couldn't even get the words out. And that was Sanjay Gupta. So now you have, you know, Spotify CEO coming out saying like, you know, we're not going to censor Joe. Um, the Even the CEO, he said, it's become clear to me that we have an obligation to do more to provide balance and access to widely accepted information from medical and scientific communities, communities guiding us through these unprecedented times. Um, he also wrote in a blog post um, that doctors, scientists, and Spotify subscribers have raised questions about the company's policies and the lines we have drawn between what is acceptable and what is not. Um, as well as, you know, like I said, Joe Rogan said, he's not trying to promote misinformation. He's not trying to be controversial. Um, he said, he's never tried to do anything with this podcast other than just talk to people and have interesting conversations, which is true. Like I said, he just has people on just having conversation. No one said that this is the truth. This is fact. None of that. But now Spotify is coming forth and saying, well, any video that's talked about COVID, we're going to give a disclaimer. And it's like, here we go, appeasing whoever. I don't know who we're appeasing in this circumstance because Neil Young, 
first off, Neil Young makes music. What what validity validity does he have to say take Joe Rogan's podcast off or my music is gone? All he needs to do is just make up his mind whether he needs to take his music off the platform or not. Joe is in his own area. Neil's in his own area. Why does Joe have anything to do with you? And if you say it's because of misinformation, what part of what Joe had on his podcast was misinformation? Prove it. And if you say I have this health expert, how is your health expert, Neil, better than Joe's health expert? Is it because they're not really experts or is it because they have different perspectives on one issue? Plus, Joe is a podcast with a podcast, you talk about controversial things. You have different opinions and perspectives. Yes, there are truths, like absolute truths, but you do also have a well-balanced view and opinionated conversation or facts driven on different things. And, um, you know, Neil Young also said Spotify has become the home of life threatening COVID misinformation. Um lies being sold for money and then the ceo also said it's important to me ek said that we don't take on the position of being content censor while also making sure that there are rules in place and consequences for those who violate them and that's what this is all coming down to man it's another one of those freedom of speech things happening you know youtube already had the oh COVID. this is COVID. if you mention COVID, it shows up at the bottom of your video COVID. click here for more information instagram has it i guarantee facebook has it and now spotify has to have it for you just to simply listen to something you have to have a disclaimer i don't know where the culture is headed i am going to probably do a let's talk episode five or six i don't know which one i'm on now probably a live video version of that over just everything that's been going on because we have to talk about the culture and everything because culture actually changes stuff but politics and stuff is just a game we got to get down to the culture but spotify you know is also saying you know is publishing long-standing platform rules to guide creators and that's one thing I don't like about you know platforms guiding creators is it ends up becoming where you're guided down one route and it usually ends up being the route of the people you're trying to appease like the liberals because the liberals get so angry and do so much over stuff that doesn't really concern them or they don't know anything about that specific area that these companies end up appeasing excuse me end up appeasing them when to be honest they're not the main ones on the platform the main ones on the platform are the ones who are you know seeking truth curious about what's really going on because we've been locked like people cannot fault Joe Rogan for having different health experts on his platform when the mainstream media had no one on for how long we've been in this pandemic three years no one on besides who Fauci Rochelle Walensky and these other people who only show up time and time again there's no other health information there's no other health experts no other medicines to use it's none of that it's just if you don't do this then you're going to get attacked. You're going to get canceled. This whole Joe Rogan thing to me reminds me of Dave Chappelle. Netflix stood with Dave Chappelle, but Dave Chappelle still caught black backlash after the fact where he's having to, you know, apologize for stuff. And once we get to the culture where when you stand on your principles and your beliefs and you still have to go through trying to apologize, even after you stood for yourself, we're not going down the right road. But anyways, man. I was just looking at this and I was just like, yo, Joe has caught more harm. And what's crazy is Joe is a liberal to me. But like I said, because he's not going along with the mainstream liberal ideology or narrative or pushing this and pushing that, they're starting to view him as right wing. And that's that's what the political atmosphere has done. Like Tim Cass, Joe Rogan, um, probably a whole bunch more those who are questioning and asking questions and having experts on who counteract what the main narrative is they're being considered right wing when they're actually either 
liberals, Democrats, or like moderate in the middle or anything like that, they're considered right wing. I guarantee any liberal who knows about Joe Rogan is more than likely going to say Joe is right wing conservative or he's Republican or something like that. When in actuality, if Joe did come over to the side of like, not even Republican or conservative, but just like questioning things and getting other outside opinions and other experts opinions, like I said, that red pill gonna work as magic. But anyways, man, leave your comments down below if you have any. As always, thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Chad and I'm out. Peace.